Hey everybody, Last Outrider here. Are you ready for part two of The Great Cleaver of Corn? Excellent. Let's get to it then. Many meters in length. The design of each Great Cleaver is barbaric, and it features a gargantuan imitation of a chain axe's sharped tooth blade. When activated, the Great Cleaver erupts with eldritch power, the teeth rotating so fast as to become a blurred edge. Immensely large and heavy, no mere mortal can hope to left a Great Cleaver, let alone take one into battle. Only, only a corn lord of skulls is worthy enough and powerful enough to use it in combat. Once this enormous demon engine has spent its cannon or can no longer resist its sick desire to watch thick gouts of blood fill the air, the Lord of Skulls will rumble up close to its foe and begin using this weapon to devastating effect. Capable of causing severe damage to the mightiest war engines, a great cleaver of corn will easily rip through body armor or crack carapaces of monstrous bioforms and the soft flesh underneath is instantly reduced to pulpy offerings for the god of blood. It then grinds forward, ready to absorb the remains of the victims up into the enormous pressure tanks upon its back, where it augments the boiling blood of murderers already contained within. Around the barracks of many an Imperial Guard regiment, men talk of the effects of this cleaver on their own forces. As this weapon tears through the air, it makes contact with armor. It is said the sound it makes is not caused by the path of the blade itself, but rather the screams of the weapon's trapped souls wailing for blood. A noise so loud it can be discerned over the sound of the mechanical edge. Very few have survived to speak of such matters, though, and such rumors are quickly put down by the commissariat. The great cleaver of corn has been witnessed on numerous occasions by loyalist space marine chapters, who are little impressed by the feeble ramblings of shell-shocked guardsmen. They have seen this brutal weapon wielded often enough to know of its capabilities. It has rent open the hulls of land raiders, slaughtering their crews. It has ground the armored panels of dreadnoughts down to scrap. As a consequence, the most skilled tactician will prioritize the destruction of a Lord of Skulls as it rumbles across a battlefield on its brass tracks, lest this tank, lest his tanks or troops become fodder for the great cleaver's grinding mechanical blade. Uh, there you go. So, let's get some uh, logistical details on it. Boom! Speaking about the picture, the little thumbnail there, some great cleavers ripple with barely suppressed warp energy. The cutting edge of the great cleaver has been seen to carve through the legs of Imperial Titans and clear through the hulls of battle tanks. The Great Cleaver weighs over one ton. The axe head is larger than a space marine. Chain edges form the teeth of bound form the chain edges formed from the teeth of bound demonic energies uh, entities. So that's the little uh, chain X blades apparently are are each one are bound demonic entities icons and details in demon forged brass <sighs> nice huh so how about the rules on this little bastard because many people probably have never seen this weapon from a uh, blah, 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 Lord of Skulls let me just give you a rundown it is a strength D 
melee weapon. What does that mean? That means it is a destroyer weapon, also known as Titan Killers. A destroyer weapon delivers an immense amount of it damage to any target that it hits. Only a destroyer weapon is capable of taking out a super heavy vehicle or a gargantuan creature with a single shot. If a weapon has a D instead of a strength value in its profile, it means that it is a destroyer weapon. To resolve a destroyer weapon's attack, roll to hit as you would from a standard attack. If the attack hits, roll on the table below instead of on rolling to wound for armor penetration. No saving throws of any kind, including invulnerable, are allowed against damage from a destroyer weapon, including, as I said, special rolls, oh, even worse, such as Feel No Pain or Necron Reanimation Program are also disallowed. So, what is this special chart of destroyer attack weapons? Let's see, on a roll of a one, Clipped. Oh, I'm sorry, there's two different sections. There's a vehicle or building section and an unlucky bastard section. Okay? So, one, clipped. The target suffers a penetrating hit. And if you're an unlucky bastard, a lucky escape. The model is unharmed. On a two to five, solid hit. A super heavy vehicle loses D3 plus one. Hull points. Ow! Other vehicles suffer an explodes result from a vehicle damage chart automatically. Buildings suffer a detonation roll from the building damage chart. On the unlucky bastard side, it's seriously wounded. The model loses D3 plus 1 wounds. On a 6, like you need more than that, huh? Devastating hit, like the previous wasn't. As it is the same as a solid hit, except super heavy vehicles lose a D6 plus 6 points instead of their uh, 3 plus 1. Ouch again. And for the unlucky bastard, it is a death blow. Fucking just kill it. Okay? Oh, if you don't, if you believe you can survive it, then the model will lose a D6 plus 6 wounds. Ow! That is all you need to know about the Great Cleaver of Corn. Have a nice day. Bye!